Sunday morning, I think. You took a picture of me. Uh huh. Why? I'm a photographer. You didn't ask permission. I never ask permission. Why not? Because I work in trenches, battlefields, and combat zones. Really? Uh huh. You mean you're a war photographer? Mostly. Sometimes I cover sporting events. My name is Augie Steenbeck. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with that? That picture? Hmm. Huh. Well, if it's any good, I guess I'll try to sell it to a magazine, now that you mention it. Midge Campbell, eating a waffle. Make me a print first, to approve. Uh huh. This is Dinah. This is Woodrow. I have a question. Uh huh. Have you ever been shot with bullets? Have I ever been? Uh, once or twice. Just grazed. He got shrapnel in the back of the head, too. Shower. Mm. I don't say I forgive you yet, by the way. Welcome from the United States Military Science Research and Experimentation Division in conjunction with the Larkins Foundation. We salute you. Each year we celebrate Asteroid Day, commemorating September 23rd, 3007 BC, when the arid plains meteorite made Earth impact. The itinerary for this three-day celebration includes a tour of the newly refurbished observatory with Dr. Hicken for understaff, a picnic supper of chili and frankfurters with an evening fireworks display, the viewing of the astronomical ellipses at its peak just before midnight tonight, and finally, the awarding of the annual Hicken Looper Scholarship after Monday's banquet lunch. Now, I'll start by presenting the commemorative medals, but first, I'll do my speech first, which you'll also receive in a folio edition as a souvenir. <clears throat> Chapter one. I walked to school 18 miles each morning, milked the goats, plucked the chickens, played hooky, caught fireflies, went skinny dipping in the watering hole, said my prayers every night, and got whipped with a maple switch twice a week. That was life. Chapter two, my father went off to fight in the war to end all wars. It didn't, and what was left of him came back in a pine box with a flag on top. End of chapter two. Next, I went to officer school and 20 years passed at the speed of a dream. A wife, a son, a daughter, a poodle. Chapter three, another war. Arms and legs blown off like popcorn. Eyeballs gouged out figuratively and literally. The men put on shows under the palm fronds dressed as women in hula skirts. That was life. In the meantime, somebody else's story. A man thinks up a number, divides it by a trillion, plugs it into the square root of the circumference of the Earth, multiplied by the speed of a splitting atom, and voila, progress. I'm not a scientist, you are. End of chapter three. Junior stargazers and space cadets, we watch transfixed as you enter into uncharted territories of the brains and spirit. If you wanted to live a nice, quiet, peaceful life, you picked the wrong time to get born. That's the speech. Be notified you are each the guardian of your own safety. Maintain alert caution throughout the following demonstrations. To Ricky Cho for his work in the field of aeronautical induction, the collapsing star ribbon of success. To Clifford Kellogg for his work in the study of particle disintegration. Black hole badge of triumph. To Dinah Campbell. It's fueled by cosmic radiation instead of sunlight. For her work in the area of botanical acceleration. Unfortunately, it makes all vegetables toxic. 
the Red Giant's Ash of Honor. To Shelley Borden for her work in the realm of mineral fabrication. I synthesized an extraterrestrial element. It's going to be added to the periodic table next year. The Distant Nebula Laurel Crown. To Woodrow Steenbeck. For his work in the sphere of astronomical imaging. It may have applications in the development of interstellar advertising. The White Dwarf Medal of Achievement. Our tour ends here. Thank you for your attention, and thank you to the Larkins Foundation for their generous funding. What do those pulses indicate? What? Oh, the beeps and blips? We don't know. Indecipherable radio emissions from outer space? Probably a red herring. Does it change, ever? Not to my knowledge. It's a date, maybe. It's a date? On the galactic maybe. calendar. Mary, we think it's a date on the galactic calendar. Wow. Is it always today? <laughs>